Hello, this is Shiv Shankar again and uh, I welcome you to this tutorial and in this part we will learn a little bit of CMake for building. So those who have been watching my C videos they now know that we are dealing with arrays. So you might have seen these videos or you might have encountered these uh, array programs. Now what I have done is uh, we had a make file if I remember which uh, had this uh, particular syntax. Now this was for fly make mode and this was for arrays 4, for 5 and 6. So this is your make file syntax. But suppose you want to uh, uh, use CMake as your build system then how do you use it? So you need to install uh, Emacs and CMake both uh, on your system. The way to install it is sudo apt-get uh, install CMake. I have got it already installed and when you install it gives you a .el file which by default on Linux systems should ideally land up here. User share CMake 2.8 editor CMake CMake mode. Then you need to copy and paste this to enable CMake syntax highlighting and indentation mode for CMake lists.txt file. As make file is the input to the make program, CMake lists.txt is input to CMake program. Now the first thing we uh, put over here is the minimum version required is 2.8 and then we start a project now i have named my project videos one project can contain multiple executables i have added executable 4 5 and 6 i have specified array 4.c to go in 4 5.c in 5 and 6.c in 6 then uh, <coughs> We have C flags because we use C99 version or better even we can use C11 version. This is to instruct the compiler to use those loop based variable initialization that is you declare variables wherever you want and booleans among other things. And then we say target link libraries uh, raise 4 to M. What this M is basically it will cause minus LM all right so this will cause minus lm flag for math library now set is a command which sets this uh, variable in uh, cmake uh, i'll explain uh, plenty of uh, cmake uh, with emacs as we go on so as of now we have five commands uh, with us one is the version second is the project add executable set and target link libraries so now <coughs> this cmake.lists file is here. Then I create a directory called build which you can see here. And then we go into build and I, I just clean this. I delete everything in this directory. That I can do using rm space minus rf space star. So I have nothing in this directory. And now I can say cmake dot dot because cmake lists dot txt is in parent directory. So it will generate various files, its cache file and cmake file and various other files along with a make file. Now if we just say make space minus j8 because I have got 8 core uh, processor and we also say verbose is equal to 1. Then C and we can also say minus K continue as long as possible and see what happens. Oh, built, all built. So we have got all three built in no time. Who says compile a link debug cycle is long in C and C++? Not true anymore. So you can see the entire output what happened in the C files. Now let's do this again. Suppose I remove this again and I say cmake dot dot and I don't actually want to see that in a big program and when compiling a big project I can simply say minus j8k well short and sweet you got what you wanted in case of any error you can switch on the verbose mode and you can see the exact line where the error happened.
now we can run our uh, prime number programs which we have developed earlier arrays 4 and arrays 5 which is actually the C program so you see how CMake works CMake is a very good tool I would rate three build systems as top-notch build systems for Linux uh, platforms one is auto tools one is CMake and uh, last is scones all three tools have their strengths the best part about CMake is it has got something called CPAC and C test so that's where it has an edge over uh, other tools now scones has got its own advantage because scones is in python so you can do anything you want by little bit of python programming now auto tools is not bad altogether but auto tools is very tightly coupled with the unix like platforms if you want to do anything on windows you got a problem while cmake can generate visual studio solution files um, I'm not very sure how to do that but uh, minus G is the flag slash minus G so if you use a generator name then uh, you can use that so I just need to find out the generator name okay so <coughs> in the generator section it is defined so for example if we go to generator section okay it is not here I guess um, should be here you will have to see the generator for example right now what generator we are using by default is unix make files this is the entire man page which contains the documentation of uh, cmake and one more thing you can do is because cmake's uh, documentation is uh, quite uh, um, what I would say is uh, uh, big and it's in the form of man page so in your user share doc directory if you see on Linux uh, you have got these files cmake uh, slash six star doc book uh, doc book star so what I have done is I have copied those doc book files here and then unzip them and uh, then i have generated pdfs using db latex so if you want i can show you one of uh, the files we go to my home directory and we go to cmake doc so this is the main documentation of cmake so it's a quite big documentation 305 pages better than man page if you can generate a pdf otherwise you have the HTML version also along with the distribution so that will be all I guess for now uh, now since let's look at generator section if we have uh, actually never plan what I will say in the video it's all runtime so if we go to um, home and we search for generators aha it's in five it's there so okay so we have um, generators here right so if we go to page number nine we have our generators so this is the default generator this is code blocks unix make files kdevelop3 kdevelop4 if I remember it can generate Visual Studio files also uh, the following generators are available on this platform okay so on Unix platform you can't generate Visual Studio because it will probably need the windows okay so <coughs> uh, for now that would uh, be all and uh, I'll see you in my next part along with CMake and uh, um, Emacs and you might also would like to explore Qt creator or you might uh, want to watch my video on Eclipse with autoconf and automake thanks for watching the video see you then bye